You guys together as DJs is fucking dangerous. It's fine. I'm I'm very very particular with who I play with. Extreme, I know you are. Extremely yeah. Extremely and yeah, I will say, even when it comes to DJing, not only DJing but just as a producer too. Like, you're in the studio with hundreds of different people a year. At least I am. But yeah. And Nick Nick's gotten incredible over only like two years it only took this kid so he works really i'm hard. super super happy and proud um i'm proud of him too yeah <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> look at that steve's got a heart <laughs> I, need, I need a screen grab of this yeah no, no, no. we're gonna he's gonna make us cut that <laughs> <laughs> no but um yeah i i i think everything is going well for us right now. Obviously, we're just kind of in the weird waiting game right now. We're in between, like, you know, releases right now. We only have releases scheduled for January, February, and March right now. So mm-hmm. we're still we're still good. We have a big record coming out in December on Slightly Sizzled. Oh, all right. Yeah, so, that's going to be a big one. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm super excited. That's, that's, that's gonna Love be Slightly right Sizzled. It's 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 a, it's a, it's it's definitely our most like underground tech house banger. Yeah. That we've made yet. And that's why I'm saying like you guys DJ sets like you could easily do all original Basura Boys like for sure and get a. Oh yeah, we could easily we we could definitely do like a, an hour set right now. Hopefully by the end of the year we could get to like a two hour all original set. What about like, like I know you guys like played an early set at North Coast but like, is are you guys free on I'm I know you are but 100%. Like, oh yeah we don't I, I'm glad that he agreed to that like. We could have a general idea, like, before we'll go into it. And obviously another thing that I kind of wanted to get him into is, like, it's not worth, uh, like, we both have day jobs. We're not trying to play that game of, oh, here, you guys do it for, like, 200, 300 bucks. It's like, no, it ain't worth my fucking time. I've been around the block long enough. I'm you not trying to do that burned. shit. Nick's got bills to pay. I got bills to pay. Like, not he's got a job. Is making 150 bucks a piece really worth peeling, worth peeling my ass off the couch? <laughs> not really. Or pulling us out of what could be a studio night. Yeah. It's not. So. Yeah. No, and I respect that. We're just in the, the lane right now where we, and thankfully we're able to pick and choose the things that we want to do, which is like, it takes people years and years to get to that point. But yeah. now, and it's also trying to gauge like being, still being local. I mean, not like oversaturating yourself and doing like a ton of shows like ideally next year 2022 if we could do four or five really good Basura Boys shows that year I'll be happy that's what I was gonna say no Nick has a Nick has a full DJ schedule himself still as Nick plays what three four nights a week still see I even I've even slimmed down on that like I've I took out everything that wasn't house if if I if it's not what I want to play and it's not for the rate I want to play it for I'm saying no to it and that's that's what I've said all 2021 yeah it was the scariest jump because I mean there was a point where before COVID I used to play in four or five days a week more than that we all over we would have like six to eight like residencies for be nice every single week and like just it's crazy thinking about how much running around we did, and it's it was just like I got so sick of it. I, if it's not what I want to play, and it's not paying, like, if it's not if I'm not getting paid well, I don't have to chase down people for a check. I want to get paid there the yeah. night of. Anything else, it's like it's not worth my time. You know, like yeah. I'd rather be in the studio getting better because that's what's gonna make that rate go up even higher. Not yeah. chasing down a check, you know. And so, we have the day jobs. I I said yeah. it too. I have a day job. Mad okay. respect to you too. Man. I don't want to fucking. I just dude, in the beginning. You do that shit because you think it's what you have to do, and to a certain extent, you do. Like, yeah. I mean, how many years combined do you guys have in the Chicago industry right now, Steve? I mean, I have five years since I was twenty-one, so five years. But a know. solid five years, bro. Yeah. God, eighteen. Yeah, I was gonna 18, say twenty 18, at least. So like, connections on every level, personal almost relationships. Almost, tw- almost twenty. I'm like, I'm like sixteen, seventeen, and and it takes time. Yeah. Fucking a lot of youngsters on here watch they want it to know. It don't happen overnight. There's no miracle cure to no get better. Obviously, like being connected and around the right people helps, but I mean, you still need to have some fucking juice to be able to be considered to have a seat at that table. True. You know, some in and I also like this also goes back to like with SoundCloud and Spotify and all that like yeah, kids will put a record out and Nice, a million to, you know, one million two hundred thousand people listen to it. Congrats, man, that's huge. But yeah. I mean, did any of them buy the record? Yeah, who are they? Like, yeah, but like what? Six would sixteen people buy that? Like, 
the pain to get on the playlists and then people screen capping that themselves and posting it like, oh, made it to blah, 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 playlist. Like, awesome, you paid for it, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, cool. So if, 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 it's, if you're not doing it organically, then what the fuck are you doing? Because, yeah. cool, you could have a, a million plus plays on all your stuff, but, like, and you could tell that to a talent buyer in... You know, Detroit or... The people that matter could see... You know, Minneapolis. You know, the the people say. that matter and the people with, you know, some semblance of an operational, like a nightclub operational brain, like, they can tell the difference between, like, what's fake and what is real, you know? Yeah. So what happens when you book somebody who has 20 songs out, all with over a million plays, but nobody's ever fucking heard of them and you sell four tickets? I which happens we know every personally. single week. All over the country this happens. They, they have a million plays. Oh, wow, a million plays in my first week. Oh, well, two months later, you have a million plays in 74. Oh, wow, they're verified <laughs> on Instagram and have 70,000 147,000 followers, <laughs> but 14 <laughs> interactions per post? Yeah. Wow. it's like, That's crazy. They have more likes on the video than they do views. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my personal favorite. That's crazy. Yeah. How did you do that, so, man? It's, it's, yeah, it's just a matter of not getting, like, it, again... Him and I are both very fucking nonchalant about this. Yes, we don't don't get it twisted. We we, we, we care do a lot, care, but we want right. it to be organic. We want we want this snowball to be built organically. We don't want it to be pushed off a ledge. We want it to keep Dude, going. You know, same page. So. All about the longevity. Hey, what's up? And thanks for watching that video. You looking for more content now? I got your back. Go to my YouTube channel right now. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on all notifications so you never miss any upcoming exclusive artist interviews. Sherman the booth clips new music, live sets, and more. This is your one-stop shop for everything electronic music. Cheers.